Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Today we're going to be looking at the new Rift, Rift Free Escalation. We're going to be looking at the skins in the Rift Pass. We're not going to really be taking a look at anything else because I'm kind of only interested in the skins and what it has to offer and if it's worth buying, depending on the skins that you like, prefer, obviously. So yeah, let's jump straight into the archives here. Hopefully we should get a little introduction here, just a little zoom in. Shows my compendium for some reason. Okay, here's the current tome, three escalation. Here's the challenges, we're not going to dive into them. We're going to look at the Rift Pass, so here we go, the Rift. Okay, first, I'm going to unlock the pass. This is the first page here, I'm going to unlock. Oh, I get a nice little intro here, okay. So, let's read this. Unlock the Rift Pass and instantly receive these items below. Yeah, we receive these items, the charm, the mask of the Huntress, and the Kate hair. So Kate's parted ponytail, very rare. The Huntress horsewoman of the apocalypse, very rare. That was a tongue twister. And the timekeeper charm, it's kind of cool. The Rift Pass grants access to premium rewards, blah, blah. Yes, we're going to look at them ourselves. We're going to look at them ourselves. So I'm going to unlock this, which I need to buy our excels because I'm not prepared at all. Here we are. Okay, we're we'll unlock the pass now. There we go. We've unlocked it. So we've unlocked Kate's parted ponytail hair. Very basic, to be honest. We've unlocked the horse, the horsewoman of the apocalypse. Um, to be honest, not that, not that special, considering a lot of the other masks in the the actual store look way cooler than that. But if that's your style, then sure, sure. I'm sure it ties into the um, the whole lore of this tome. So yeah, and then there obviously we have the timekeeper charm, which is like a little hourglass or something. It's kind of cool. All right, so let's start. We're gonna skip over these common charms because you get these every rift. It's just related to what uh, the rift is about. So obviously the huntress. Uh, there's going to be some Huntress ones, going to be some Kate ones, so yeah, let's go. Oryxel's awesome. Kate's guitar, that's cool. That's a cool little charm, I like that. Then we have Child's Melody, we're going to skip through that like we said. Oryxel's Hillbilly, uh, Wildcap, this is a premium one as well. This is just the torso, right? Yeah. I mean, honestly, again, very basic, but then again, battle passes and rift passes like this. Usually the start is very basic and then it gets better, so. Okay, this is on the free pass, it's a sword for the spirit, let's see it. If she swings her sword, but... From the picture looks very basic. She ain't gonna swing it, so that's nice. We're not gonna see that. Uh, Dwight, okay, this is kinda cool. Dashing layers, awesome. This actually looks kinda cool, I like it. I like the little uh, blazer with a hoodie on below, looks cool. He has a little badge here, if he moves his arm, right there, that's cool. All right, page two. Let's swiftly get through this. This is for the nurse. Uh, another a, a saw, okay. It's kinda basic, again, but uh, yeah, all right. If you like nurse, then maybe you'll like this, but not for me, not for me. We have a jacket for David, that's kind of cool, I like that, it's got like the the little dashes, what is it? London Dawn training jacket, ah, okay, okay, makes sense. Tree of Life, charm, meh. Hip retro, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, that's cool, he has like the little the little hat on dude, the little fedora. Oh, the trilby, that was the word I was looking for, the trilby, yes, I like that. Oh, little charm, that's cool, that's like the Legion's knife for the cassette, that's cool, I like that. What's that? Every great murderer has a soundtrack, that's true. Alright. Don't care about that. Charm, what is this? Bunny Hood Doll. Ah, it's the bunny from uh, the trailer. I'm super, I guess. Um, the Huntress, his daughter. The trailer, uh, her bunny. I'm guessing this is what it is. It's kind of cool, I like that. What's this for? For Fang? Uh, I'm a Fang. I like Fang. Uh, I love Fang Cosmetics, because obviously she's the main survivor I play, but I don't like that. It's basically just the default shirt that she has, but recolored and retextured a little bit. It's kind of meh, so we're going to skip over that. Alright, more basic charms, don't care about that. We have an uncommon head for the hunter, uh, for the spirit. Uh, to be honest, it's literally just the default one with some blue eyes, so, you know, it's kind of like, okay, sure. Gold sandals, um, honestly, what the fuck is that? That looks fucking trash, dude, what is that? Dude, okay, I don't like that. That's the, probably the worst one I've seen so far. That just looks terrible. But sure, alright. Rusted horseshoe charm. Basic. Skip over. Knife of the Legion. Literally looks like a little... A little homemade blade. What is it? Sawtooth blade. Yes, okay. So that's kind of cool, I suppose. Kate charm. If you're into Kate and you like Kate, this will be nice for you, but not for me. It's kind of cool, though. We have a slice of pizza. Basic. Basic, basic. RXLs. We have another one of these. Don't care about that. Uh, the checkered past, okay, so everyone is saying that this outfit is like Nia, because obviously Nia has this. So, there, there's more evidence to suggest that this killer is probably Nia, so. I kind of like it, to be honest, but I don't really play Legion, sadly, but I do like that outfit. Alright, we have these uh, flash leather leggings for Meg, they're kind of cool. I mean, it makes sense, it fits in with her old persona, I suppose, so I kind of like it. 
What is this? Rolled skinnies. Oh, skinny jeans for Dwight. Okay. Oh, sorry about my phone. <gasps> Not very professional. Kind of cool, but meh. Cool. What is this? Oh, a head for uh, Yui. Alright, that's kind of cool. Um, very colourful. Pink hair. If that's your style, then fair enough. What's this? Uh, Crimson Overflow. Oh, she has like the red face markings for the for the spirit's face. That's alright. That's alright. Kind of basic still. Let's keep going. More charms. Shit. Shit. Don't care about that. What's this? Oh, that's cool. Okay, I like that. It kind of reminds me of, like some like stolen valor. Wait, let me. The tattered uniform of a Cossack soldier who fought bravely against Anna and paid the ultimate price. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say it looks like um like a Soviet outfit, you know. Okay, I'm a big fan of that. I don't play much Huntress, but I can't wait to get this. This is actually very cool. I like that a lot. That's the best thing in the past so far, in my opinion. This outfit, very cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, moving on. We have a uh, hair, hair for Feng, which looks um, horrible. So we're going to skip over that because it looks terrible. Uh, dark ripped jeans for Adam. Honestly, who plays Adam in this day and age? Nobody. So cool. It's just a basic pair of jeans with some scrapes and blood. Sure. RXLs. We have an empty... M okay, that's creepy. I like that, but that's creepy. You see, if the Legion wasn't such a... You see, that, would, that mask would fit him way better if... The Legion wasn't like a run-in, hit, big terror radius killer. If he was like, you know, like a stealthy killer, and you saw this mask, it would spook you, right? But, yeah, I like it though. That mask is awesome. I like that. I'm a big fan of that one. Alright, what is this? Waterfront mask at Sunset Drive. Tank top, personal colour. A tank top for Yui? Hmm. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the, like, super colourful skins in the game. Like, you know, like this hairstyle's green kind of bright this is like super bright um, if it's your style obviously everyone has a preference but for me not really this kind of looks trash to be honest then we have this for Feng that is honestly I'm kind of disappointed so far this is just the default shorts again just recolored to match the the shirt back there kind of basic kind of don't care about it All right, RXLs gold blouse okay this okay that that the skirt that I saw back there makes way more sense now because obviously it has this. It was it was gonna have a matching outfit, obviously. This looks better. The top looks better than the the bottoms, but obviously together it might look good. But just not a fan of that outfit. That's just my preference, but it's kind of cool. Oh, we have a weapon for the the plague. I like that a lot. I don't actually have a weapon for plague. I don't think I have any skin for her, so I'm actually a fan of that. I like it. So that's a good one. We have the Ouroboros charms, snaky snakies. Oh wait, I think that's that's my ex-girlfriend on there. All right, moving on. What's this? Um, shitty charm. All right. Mid-length locks and fade rear head for Adam. He just has like the little orange under his eye, the red hair. Kind of looks like a B-Tech KSI, but sure. All right. Okay, we have some short shreds. Ah, uh, they're just shorts for Yui. Why are they going for like the summer Yui skin like thing? She has like the the colourful down like short hair, the tank top, orange tank top with the shorts. It's like a summer look. Like, hmm, don't know. Horror game, by the way. Alright, uh, Screaming Speaker's Charm, that's cool. It's like speakers with a little de uh, legion face on it. I like that. That's cool. RXLs, don't care about them. Uh, jeans for Kate, uh, with flowers on. Then again, if you're a Kate fan, you would like these, because I know she's all, like, chill. She's like, you know, she's like a hippie dude, basically, let's be honest. So that's kind of cool, like it, but never going to use it. Another one of these shitty charms, don't care about that. Alright, this obviously goes with a... The outfit for Claudette that we saw with the dress. I see they've done a lot with the hair physics. The hair looks better. I'll give them that. Behavior have done a better job with the hair. It looks way better than the previous skins we've had. So that's cool. Look, it even moves and has its own physics. That's awesome. Alright, simulation terror charm. That's just a charm. Oh, I don't know why I'm staring at that. Alright, we have a hag head. What is this? Dreaded husks. Okay, kind of looks like lettuce hag, but like stale lettuce. Do you like asparagus hair? Alright, skipping over that, RXLs, another record. Okay, they have the weapon to match the Huntress's thing. It's kind of like, it's definitely like Soviet themed, I feel. So, a weapon proven itself in the chaos of war. This hatchet holds the dog tag of its de deceased owner around its hilt. Oh, does it? Oh yeah, it does. I didn't notice that until I read it, it's there. Oh, yeah, it has its own physics, that's cool. I like that. Cool. That outfit for the Huntress is awesome, to be honest. Alright, Triple Moon, Charm, don't care about it. Denim and Dawn, a uh, shirt for Adam. Um, uh, uh, meh, meh, honestly, meh. It's nothing special. 
Oh, here we have a helmet or mask, whatever you want to call it, for the plague. Zenith of Suffering. All right, that's cool. I like that. Um, with a whole outfit, obviously, it's going to match. It's going to look a bit silly like this, but uh, I kind of like it. Like I said, there's. I don't think there's a lot of um, cosmetics for the plague, so I think this is a nice one. All right, another charm. I'm going to skip over it. We have a head for Nia. Honestly, okay, behavior. What are you doing with these hairstyles? These colourful, like, glasses, the colourful hair, the bows. In my opinion, it looks ridiculous in a game like this, you know? You want the skins to be, like, gritty, like, you know, it's a, I mean, it's, it's a horror, it's meant to be a horror game, right? It's not really, when you, once you played it, and it's not. But damn, these skins, I feel like they just look ridiculous in the game. Maybe it's just me being a fucking whiny asshole, but I don't know, these skins look stupid, in my opinion. Alright, the iridescent charm for the Huntress, what's this? Also for Kate. Oh, that's cool. She has the backpack. She has. Wait, what is that? What is this? A warm V neck sweater complemented with a charming bauble on a chain. Ah, bauble. A backpack carries Kate's notebook at the ready for any chords and lyrics that pass through her mind. Awesome. That's cool. I like that. Honestly, that's cool. That's one of the better skins we've seen for a survivor. But then again, meh. It's, it's alright. Alright. Ah, here's the skin for the plate. Okay, that looks cool. I'm a fan of that. That looks cool, she has like the leg armour, she has like the serpent on her leg. She has the shoulder pads here, then the serpent wrapped round her arm. Does she have one over here? Yeah, serpent wrapped round. This is cool, I'm a fan of this one. With the whole outfit, it would look awesome. Uh, a used burial shroud starred in priest priestess's robes during the rebirthing ceremony. The former occupant is nothing but dust, stain and an ac acrid smell upon the fabric, yet it's said to protect the wearer from harm. Yes, I do like that. That is probably one of my favourite skins so far, so that's awesome. I like it. Right, Music of Pearl, that's just a boring charm. Horse head. Ooh, that's gross, but that's cool. I like that. That's a nice killer charm for sure. Alright, Peak 22 Thermos, another charm. Meh, no, nothing, nothing special. We have the Blossom Onslaught rare body for the spirit. Honestly, this battle pass has been very underwhelming so far. I don't think this is anything special. She has a way better skins. I mean, obviously these tie these can tie into the lore or whatever, but damn, when I pick a skin, everybody has their differences. I pick a skin based on how it looks and if I think it's cool. And this is just it's just basic, in my opinion. It just is. It's, it's not that amazing. Alright, RXLs. Finally we have the Vaporous Hexahedron. Alright, I hope I said that right. That's cool, okay. That charm's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of that one. It's like floating here. I mean, that's probably the point, right? But that's cool. A finely crafted container that stimulates a wisp of ever-changing fog. Yes, that's quite cool. I like that. Usually the charm at the end is always quite good, to be honest. But, I mean, it has to be. It's the end of the pass. And then we have a pink hair for Feng, which looks completely just ridiculous, to be honest. Looks stupid. Okay, so. In my opinion, the best things in this battle pass is this. The charm at the end. The plague outfit. This is okay. This is okay. It's not too bad. Um, the hatchet for the huntress is kind of cool with the dog tags around the thing. The weapon. This charm's kind of cool. Uh, the mask for legions cool. Uh, this is the best. This is the best thing in the past. This like Soviet outfit. Well, it looks Soviet esque, but this outfit is definitely the best thing in the battle pass, hundred percent. Uh. And that's really it. I mean, the Legion thing, the Legion outfit, the checkered uh, plaid shirt is kind of cool. That's really it, to be honest. Everything else is very met, in my opinion. And to be honest, that that um, outfit for the Huntress would look better with a different mask than this one, I think. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the skins in the Rift Pass. If you guys have any differences, let me know what you like, what you don't like. Are you going to pick this Rift Pass up? Are you going to grind for these skins that, uh, that maybe you like, maybe I don't? We have our differences, that's fine. Are you going to be grinding these challenges out? Let me know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys could see what skins are available in the Rift. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.